Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Clicks. So in today's video, I'm going to cover up the very important topic of jQuery, uh, the text HTML. There are various functions of text HTML, well, append, prepend, after, before, and uh, you can dynamically add your class and remove your class, or you can just toggle your class between add and remove from a particular division. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate all these functions uh, in detail to you. So moving to the video part, now I'm going to, I have created a like a short uh, like template in which I have a buttons. Uh, the text button is there. Uh, in this, we will demonstrate the text function, HTML function, HTML function, the val function, append function, prepend function, after, before, remove, empty, add class, remove class, and toggle class. I will demonstrate all these functions one by one in front of you. So for that, I have created a buttons. And after the button, I have created a div that have a class M1. And in the M1 class, I have written as width 200, height 200, background color red and color white. And I have uh, placed a text box, input type text. And to this text box, I have uh, like assigned a class M2. And then I have created a division, uh, M2 and M3 division I have not been mentioned in my style tag. So div class M3 and in that div class, I have placed three paragraphs, para1, para2 and para3. So this is the design I have created. Now moving to the implementation part. First of all, uh, I have assigned a class text, HTML, well, append, prepend, uh, like to all my buttons in order to uh, like perform a, an event on that. And the value is uh, been written in front of you. So first of all, I'm going to implement the text. See, there is a method, uh, there is a method called text in your jQuery. For example, I have a division with a class M1. So M1 dot M1 dot text. Hello to jQuery text function text function so if i'm going to run this uh, if i'm going to click on a text it's the text is been written in my division uh, right now my division is empty but when i'm i have clicked on the text button a text is written in my division that is whatever the text value you will be putting over here that text value will be placed over here so this is the implementation of the text function then I'm just going to copy and HTML function. On moving to the next function, HTML function M1 dot in the place of text, I will uh, I will embed now an HTML function. What is the difference between the HTML function and a text function? For example, testing HTML function. So I'm going to write here as B for bold and uh, let's start with implementing the text function. So I have also written here as a B tag, the bold tag. If I'm going to write here as text. So if I'm going to click here as this on HTML, on clicking on a HTML, it has placed a text value and this as testing HTML function and the B tag is been written as such. So if I want that the B tag should be rendered and the text which has been written inside the B tag will be will becomes bold. For that, I have to write here as HTML. So if I'm going to click here HTML, the text is been bold. Basically, the HTML function in your jQuery renders the tag that has been placed in your argument. Like if I have if I have written here as bold tag, if I'm going to write here as I tag, I mean italic it will be rendering. So the output will be bold plus italic. So the HTML uh, tag uh, just renders the HTML uh, functions that is being written inside your text. So this is the basic difference between text and HTML. Moving to the next part, uh, the val. After clicking on a val, the val function basically uh, I have uh, placed a text box with the class m2. So m2 dot val function. So val function uh the text box value so if i'm going to click here on val function uh, the text box value has been placed over here 
So if I want some dynamic value that is to be written in your text box, I will use a val function. Now moving to the next part, uh, the append function. So what is basically the append function? Append function will uh, like implement, uh, for example, uh, if I'm going to do here as m1, m1 dot append. Uh, I can write here as appended text. So uh, first of all, I'm going to click here on HTML. Uh, right now in HTML, the testing HTML function has been written. If I'm going to click on append function, so append button. So append button will, after clicking, it will execute this line. What it will be doing is that the M1, M1 is a division, uh, this one, dot append append text. It will be appended after this function word. So append, see, uh, the, it's uh, the hyphen and the appended text. Append, append function will always place your text at the end of your division. So whatever the content uh, the division contains, it will place the appended text. Whatever the text we will be giving over here, it will placed at last of your division tag. So this is the use of append function. Then there is a function called prepend. So what will the prepend will be doing is prepend will be prepending text at the starting of your division. So the HTML, this is a, a simple text has been written. So append, append will placed in the last and prepend will placed in front of your division. So I can just put here as like this in order to have some better clarification of this thing. So HTML append and now prepend. So prepended text will always be placed at starting of your division. So this is the difference between your append tag and the prepend tag. So moving to the next part, uh, we have the after and before function. I'm going to implement all these functions in the one instance. So after, uh, after we can say here as uh, this is the after text, uh, after division, the text appears. And uh, now I'm going to implement here the before function. So before is a class I have given to the button, the M1 and the before division, the text appears. And I'm going to write here as called the function me here as before. So HTML append and now the prepend and now the after. So after division, uh, my text appears means I have what I have given here is that after clicking on after clicking M1, M1 is a this division. And after division, uh, my after uh, after division text will be appear. After division text is appeared after the division. So before before will I'm clicking on a before. So before division a text has been appeared. Before division text appears. So this is the difference between your after and before. Before after tag after whatever you will be writing in the uh, writing in your after tag after function it will be appearing after a particular tag that is you that you have mentioned over here. Same in the case of before. So moving to the next part, uh, if I'm going to do as uh, remove, if I want to just remove uh, my division, so m1 dot remove. So m1 is my division, this division, if I am going to call the remove function, what it will be doing is, it will be just removing that division. So if you want to remove such uh, any division, you can just call the remove function. Then empty, empty is your function that will just uh, work on the child elements of any division. So if I am going to call this empty, uh, uh, in case of M1, we have an M3 class implemented on my division tag that contains three child elements. So I'm going to do here as call as M3 dot empty. So if I'm going to call this empty function, so all the paragraph that is being placed in your M3 is being removed. So remove uh, the remove function will remove the element, but the empty function will remove all the contents, all the children's elements from the main division, right? So this is the difference between your remove and empty. Then moving to the next part, the add class, remove class, and toggle class. I will be implementing all these class, all this function in the one instance. So add class, I'm going to add class. It's a case sensitive. So you have to like 
cat class i have made a class as a class in which it will be coloring uh, as background color pink and margin of 100 pixel so add class uh, to which it will be adding a class a class the class name should be mentioned or we can add this class in m3 right uh, so m3 m3 and m3 and now add class now we are going to implement as remove class so remove class which one class is going to remove uh, a class and toggle class so m3 dot toggle class a class so uh, add class so class has been added to which one add class after clicking on a add class m3 is my tag this one uh, to this the class has been added as a class in a class i have implemented the background color pink so background color pink has been implemented and the margin left is of 100 pixel so if i'm going to do here as inspect element and if i see here as that we have here i have just written a one class as m3 but now it's there exists the two class a class and if i'm going to remove class so the a class has been removed so for that i have used here as remove class dot remove class remove class is an inbuilt function this remove class is a class that i have assigned to this button so whichever the class you want to remove you have to mention that particular class name over here so toggle class what toggle class will be doing is it will be just toggling so a class has been read uh, like added and a class has been removed so by clicking on a button the a class will be added by clicking on again on the button the a class will be removed so text simple text will be displayed html it will render the html element well it will just place a value in the in your text box append the text will be appended in your division prepend the text will be firstly append uh, prepending to your division after the element will becomes the text will be disappear the test text will be appears after that particular element before you can appear the text before uh, remove you can just remove that element empty you can just empty that value uh, the children tags of a particular element so uh, next is your add class uh, the class is added remove class classes remove toggle class the toggle class the add and remove class will be implemented on your single button so this was all about your uh, the important functions of uh, append prepend before etc i hope you like this video if you like this video do like hit a like button and do subscribe my channel for getting all the latest update of these programming tutorials thanks for watching my video